Andrew Forrest, welcome to the business. Thank you, Rachel. Andrew, you outbid many other contenders for CWP Renewables assets. Why did you want it so badly? Look, I think our team did a really great job, but why we wanted it is because the absolute glove fit which CWP and Squadron Energy make, and they've got such a terrific team at CWP, driven by the same values we are, and they've got this burning impatience to get on and see the green energy transition of our country expedited for the good of every single Australian. So when we saw that attitude, we knew we had the right team. When we looked hard at the, their assets, while we're really big in Queensland, they're really big and complementary with our assets in New South Wales and Victoria. So it was just a glove fit. But further, Rachel, when you put the entire group together and look at what we're doing at Fortescue Future Industries, then it dovetails in with all those industries all that work as well, so well. So we're really delighted. What was it about your beard that got over the line? I think the speed and simplicity and the fact that what we were proposing was abundantly good, very apparent for Australia. How does this deal fit with Fortescue Future Industries' green hydrogen plans? Let me start with how well it fits with Squadron, CWP, very strong in Victoria, very strong in New South Wales, where we have a great deal of assets as well, but we're also very strong in Queensland. So it really does cover the eastern seaboard. We're saying to regional eastern Australia, this is a chance to really grow your communities, grow your economies. And we're saying to industrial um, East Coast Australia and mums and dads across the East Coast, now's our opportunity to bring down the cost of energy to not use that dangerous polluting fuel of fossil fuel and leave it behind, leave it to our history. But if you look at that combined group, which is now, Rachel, the largest green energy group in Australia, and look at what FFI is doing, that green energy group squadron needs the full ecosystem. It needs electrolyzers to have hydrogen so it can firm its power at night. It needs batteries so um, it can be extra reliable. It will need wind turbines, generators, towers. It will need solar panels, all the things which are either being done or um, in the planning of FFI as a very major manufacturing company. But let's look further, Rachel. This country, like this planet, like humanity, needs transportable fuel. And that transportable fuel in our dark ages has really only been coal, oil, gas, anything you can burn. Not that intelligent. Um, what we do need now is hydrogen-based fuels, which are just as transportable as coal, oil or gas, which do this planet no harm at all, not in their creation, which is what we're going to rely on to provide the electrons of, of, um, of the squadron now combined with CWP, but also uh, to be able to drive our industries and help companies like Fortescue Metals Group go green. They are now the number one green energy company in Australia and we at Fortescue Metals Group need all the help to help drive our own energy transition to stepping beyond fossil fuel, just like FFI needs that huge flow of green electrons which will come into the Australian economy and very welcome, uh, which will be generated by Squadron. Andrew, we know how precarious access to energy and the soaring costs have been, particularly along the east coast of Australia. Will this deal address some of those consumer concerns quickly? Yes, it does. I mean, you can see things like the, the cap on uh, coal and on gas, just how scared uh, we all should be and are of the decades of having formed reliance upon a dangerous, easily weaponised energy called fossil fuel, which the more you use it, Rachel, the more expensive it becomes. The more expensive it becomes, the lower the standard of living of every single Australian occurs. We bring on green energy at the scale which, which Squadron CWP is now planning, which is now underway, which we're already doing, but will take up tenfold, Rachel. That will drive down the cost of living and uh, drive, drive up the standard of living. And that's what excites us most. Will the energy be solely for Australians or will some of it be exported? No, look, I do think Squadron now combined with CWP will be very Australia-centric. I think there's a huge market here. I mean, literally throughout the 
uh, two, 2020s, it's an infinite market, it's everything which oil and gas does now. So we'll focus in really hard on Australia. We want Australia to go from not the global capital of coal and fossil fuels, but the global capital of green energy, where we can literally put companies the size of Saudi Aramco, which is the economy of Saudi Arabia, we can put those assets inside our Australian economy and drive full employment and economic growth for decades and decades ahead. Andrew, what are your main priorities for the first 12 months? Uh, look, I have terrific leadership here in Jason and Eva. They're coming together. Um, they are planning out as we speak um, which projects to bring on first, uh, how, how we're going to capitalise them. I think you'll see immense activity in the coming year out of this combined group there. They're um, like a uh, duck swimming. Rachel, look pretty calm on the surface if you look at them, but they're flat out underneath. Andrew Forrest, thanks for your time. Thank you, Rachel.